All right, Shopify has just finished its town hall and they did a lot of really great things. First of all, they put all of the changes right up front. So I'm gonna hit, hit over to it now. You can watch them in three minutes. They did an excellent job highlighting them. Teams across Shopify are shipping new products in 2022. Let's check out some highlights. Every month, over 1 billion flows run on Shopify stores, automating processes from marketing to fulfillment to customer support. Starting this month, Shopify Flow will be available to advanced plan merchants. There's never been a better time for developers to build a flow connector that can kick off an automation or execute an action from a workflow. What will you build? Shopify is deprecating the Fulfillment API in favor of Fulfillment Orders. Access new features like local delivery and pickup, fulfillment holds, channel attribution, subscription models, and more. With nearly half a million Shopify merchants using local delivery, you can take advantage of fulfillment orders to help merchants fulfill products at the right time from the right locations. As shoppers go back to in-person shopping, we're improving workflows to help you support merchants using Shopify POS. Leveraging order editing API, merchants can edit orders as many times as needed to complete a refund or exchange. This update launches in spring, and we're inviting retail app developers to join the beta. We're also introducing a new POS space in the Partner Dashboard, giving a snapshot view of your retail clients, tools and resources to help sell Shopify, and to better support your existing clients. As more merchants adopt Online Store 2.0 themes, app developers can provide a seamless experience to integrate with merchant storefronts through theme app extensions. This simplifies the process of adopting, managing, and uninstalling apps without the need for theme-specific solutions or custom code removal. Learn more and start building with theme app extensions today. Business is also becoming more global, and merchants are looking to developers to update and build new apps that make it easier to acquire customers in new markets, convert them with localized experiences, and make international fulfillment easier. Learn more about how you can tap into global growth with Shopify Markets. Build themes for merchants around the world. As more merchants start, grow, and scale, it's the perfect time for developers to build fast, responsive, and feature-rich themes. We are proud to welcome three new paid themes. Drop is designed for audience anticipation, flash sales, and creating product hype. Be Yours represents a theme listing by our very first theme store partner based in Asia, Roar Theme. Bullet combines editorial layout with unconventional design and is created by Open Thinking, our newest theme store partners from Italy. So through all of those announcements, there was a couple of things that really stuck out to me. Uh, number one, Shopify Flow is now coming to Shopify Advanced Plans. They skipped over this super quickly, but this is a huge, huge update. This means anybody who wants to take advantage of the sheer power of Shopify Flow can now do it on just a Shopify Advanced Plan. Now, I went in and checked right after the town hall to see how quickly this would go live. It hasn't yet been published, but I imagine it'll be published in the next couple of hours, if not the next couple of days. So anybody of you are on Shopify advanced plans, you can now take advantage of Shopify flow. All right. Uh, fulfillment API is, is being deprecated, which we all knew that was coming. Um, and order editing for the POS system is uh, something that is, is also been launched. Um, there was a couple new themes that got put out. Uh, these are all paid themes. So, uh, drop, uh, be yours and the OLED theme. Um, and they talked about app theme app extensions. I mean, let's talk a little bit about theme app extensions for a moment. All of us who are developers have known the pain of having a theme that's installed a bunch of code into, or sorry, an app that installed a bunch of code into the theme and then removed the app and then the code still remains, slowing down the site. With theme app extensions, any theme that uses theme app extensions, when you remove that theme, it's going to remove that uh, that code as well, which is awesome because now we don't have to be going through and, and, and doing cleanups of themes that have had uh, apps installed. So now customers can go and try out apps, see if they work, and then remove them without having any technical debt stick around. Um, and then let's switch over to what was covered in the... Um, 
in 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 the uh, the panel discussion. So uh, a lot of really great conversations in the panel discussion. Um, the top things that I pulled out of it were the trends. So uh, customers are looking for um, acquisition. I mean, this is obvious. It's how can I get more customers? Um, and then the next piece is uh, retention. How can they retain those customers? Um, and then also how do we go global? And how the because there's so much strain on the supply chain now. How do we handle those particular pieces? So those are what merchants are currently looking at. So any solutions that you can provide in those types of areas will uh, will definitely help them in the long run. Shopify also uh, talked a little bit about how they're making their platform uh, and ecosystem a little bit easier for app developers. There was a lot of focus on app developers. Uh, focusing on app developers, uh, they had said in last year that they really want to uh, focus in on developers, and this is this is them coming through with this. So you know, focusing on apps, making it easier for people who are building apps to have more visibility, as well as making sure that the trust level is still very high. So they want to be they're they're going to be focusing on reviews and bubbling things up in the search. Um, other than that, um, there's a couple of great changes that are coming out. We didn't get to see a preview of them, but I imagine that they're going to be coming out in the next little bit. They were teased a little bit ahead of time. There's some new checkout UI features that are going to be uh, coming up in the next few months, and they have um, a better management of customers with, when it comes to B2B, so how you manage your customers. So potentially the ability to uh, set, customer set custom pricing for specific customers when they're directly in the dashboard no longer needing an app. I'm very excited to see what happens to that because as you guys know, I uh, I really like working with the B2B businesses. Um, and then draft orders uh, support supporting multi-currency is something that is gonna be coming up. Um, other than that, they really um, kind of went over a lot of the broad strokes of what's happening inside the industry. Some of the things that I pulled out that I'm gonna be talking to our customers about and a lot of the people that work with us um, is that if you're building an app, um, and you're building it for the Shopify App Store, make sure that you have a free version because they are gonna be uh, prioritizing free apps over everything else. Those are the first ones that they're gonna show to people. And then if you can show your value, then you can convert them into uh, paid uh, paid people. Uh, the next piece is they're working on a better search um, a better search on their homepage so that uh, apps can uh, get bubbled up sooner. Again, focusing on those free tools. Um, and then the two pieces that I really thought were important is the circle economy. So people like Poshmark, um, coming up with strategies for customers so that they're taking advantage of the circle economy is uh, what I'm gonna be starting to recommend to our customers is how do, they, how do they leverage Poshmark with their current existing brand to either move out old inventory so say, for example, you have outlet stores and stuff like that and you want to be able to move it out, you can move it out through Poshmark, um, as well as making certifications of products that have gone through um, someone and you might want to have authentic authenticity uh, certified and stuff like that for the bigger brands and protecting the brands. Um, so that's some of the stuff that uh, I'm going to be looking into in the next few months and some of the stuff that we're going to be uh, working on. One of the other um, things that they talked about is they're going to be adding uh, AMAs to all town halls going forward. So the next town hall that comes out, make sure you have your questions ready and they make it really easy for us to pose and upvote them. All right, that was everything that they covered in the Shopify Town Hall. I hope you guys are having a great day and enjoy your weekend.